how's everyone doing? I'm going to make sure my volume's turned off. I've been watching a virtual conference all day. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. It's a different view. Um, part of my Christmas, I got a, um, a new ring light for the office. Um, my mother got me a ring light, so ta-da! Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I hope everyone is having a good 2021 so far. Um, I know yesterday was a little crazy. We're not even going to talk about it. Uh, we're just going to not talk about it. So how's everyone doing? Um, I have been sort of taking this week to try and get all my systems set up and get everything in place. Um, but I did show property today. I have a contract. I have a house closing next week. Um, and I think I might be ratifying a contract tomorrow. Um, so stuff is still happening. Uh, today we are going to talk about, um, home trends that buyers and sellers need to know moving into 2021. So if you're here, give me a wave, tell me you're here. Um, and, um, if you're on my personal page, I don't know that I'll see it. I'm going to try and get in over there so I can see it. Yep. Okay. Um, but give me a wave, tell me you're there, ask me questions. Um, also, just as an FYI, um, this is on Facebook, but if you follow me on Instagram, I've been letting you know I am doing, um, I have a 12-month homeowner checklist that I've been telling people about. Um, if you want a copy of it, just send me your email, drop your email, or um, send me a DM with your email, and I'll get that over to you. You can print it double-sided, put it in your fridge. Um, and check off items. And then I've been in my story every day posting one item um, from the January list. And today is cleaning out your fridge and wiping down the shelves. Yesterday was changing your smoke alarm batteries, smoke detector batteries. But anyway, so today I am talking about um, home trends for 2020 that buyers and sellers need to know. So um, it's a new year, there's new home trends. Um, 2020 definitely changed a lot of things. And um, it was quite the year. And with that came just a handful of changes with what buyers are now looking for and what sellers need to be aware of. So trend number one is multi-use kitchens that can be used for Zoom calls, whether that's school or work. Um, Kitchens that can be used as classrooms, kitchens that can be used for cooking and for entertaining. Um, if you are thinking of selling in 2021, you're going to want to look for ways to highlight spaces in your kitchen that can double as office space, Zoom spots, virtual classroom, homework areas. It might be rearranging um, where your kitchen table is to allow for a better office homework space. Um, a spot with a good zoom backdrop. Um, you might want to try to utilize a space beyond just your kitchen counter so that you can still, you know, have that area dedicated to cooking and entertaining and you're not, you know, making spaghetti on top of the kids while they're doing zoom calls. Um, so that's trend one. Trend two is if you do need to dedicate a space as a home office space for um, a Zoom room or a quiet room that's not the kitchen. Um, you know, think about a home office space that's not a home office. Like, I don't have a house big enough for a home office. Is there a nook or a cranny in your home that you can create as this sort of special space? Maybe it's a best, uh, a best room, a guest room that can double as this. Um, do you have an extra den, like a small den, um, a loft space? Um, sometimes there's like a nook underneath steps that can double as a space and you can decorate them nice, have, you know, a little desk with a computer. You can even mount, um, a monitor on the wall and that can be the screen for people. Um, think of how you can use that as another office space where it's not a true office space, but it can, it can work for Zoom calls for, um, for that office space, especially if there's multiple people in the home. Um, that need that space like for Wayne and I it's just the two of us and he he can't work for FedEx from home or else no one's getting their deliveries <laughs> um, 
So he is not at home. But if we had children at the house that someone and they had to be in virtual school and I had to be doing stuff for work from home, we couldn't all be sitting in the kitchen. Um, and I know there's people dealing with that. And so how can one of us be on one call and someone else be on another call? You have to have multiple spaces. Trend three, outdoor living spaces that become a relaxing retreat, um, as well as extra space for entertaining outdoors. Um, think outdoor kitchens, audio systems outdoor, trellises. They're going to become really popular in 2021. Um, you want to optimize your current outdoor space. Um, also optimize your garage space, um, whether it's for yourself currently or to get it ready for the market. Think about ways you can make that space look more retreat-like and more private. Um, and maybe that's adding, you know, a trellis-like structure for conversational settings, a gas fire pit with an outdoor rug, um, some more plants. Wayne and I, um, we fixed up our garage and we actually have a couch in the garage and we have a large flat screen television um, up on the wall in the garage and we sit in there and watch football and we can open the garage door. Richard, the dog, two doors down will come over and hang out with us. But we have a coffee table in there. We have side tables, we have a beer fridge and it's, it's real comfortable, but it's extra living space. Um, and then we have our back deck as well. And we've got lighting out there. Um, we have tables out there. And we did just order a solo stove that should be coming shortly. Um, if you've seen those, they're like fire pits that won't scar the deck. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and then actually upstairs on the second floor, we got some outdoor furniture. If you follow me on my personal Facebook, it's been kind of a nightmare. Um, that should be going away soon. And we're gonna get some new ones from Love Sack and we're gonna get an outdoor sectional from them. But, um, you know, create that create some outdoor living space, extend the space of your home, um, and, and make there be more space at home because we're spending more time at home. Trend four is dedicated space for at-home workouts are going to become more important. This can be indoor and outdoor space. Um, yes, Angela, you know where not to buy your outdoor furniture or your indoor furniture for that matter. Don't buy it rooms to go. Um, Trend number four is dedicated space at home workouts are gonna become much more important. So dedicate that space, whether it's indoor or outdoor, you can convert a space in a garage or maybe you have a guest bedroom um, where you can have your workout equipment and that everyone has their fancy Peloton. Um, I think more, I don't know how many Pelotons or how many of the you know at home bikes were sold this year, but um, you know, we had, I rented a bike from Cycle Bar when they were shut down and I was able to put it in front of the flat screen television in the garage and I could have the lights off in the garage and it was just like being in the cycle theater at Cycle Bar, sort of. Um, and I could play the live video, I could stream the live video through to the television and it was amazing. Um, and just pump up that music and it was great. Um, then it started to get warm and then it wasn't as fun anymore. <laughs> But I, if I was gonna do it long-term, I could have some air conditioning down there or fans or whatever. Um, if you are a seller and you're getting ready to put your house on the market, you wanna share some neighborhood features with your realtor. If your realtor's not super familiar with the neighborhood, um, you know, do you have a bike trail nearby, a great space for walking? Um, are there good hiking spots nearby? You wanna highlight those things so the realtor knows. Um, because that is going to be very important as we continue to move forward with this. Um, so if you jumped in late, just to quickly recap, four home trends for 2021, whether you're buying or selling, um, multi-use kitchens, home office space, outdoor living, and then at-home workout space, whether it's indoor or outside of the home. Um, you know, just think about, I mean, your home preferences have probably changed as you've been spending more time at home. If you have any others that you're thinking about, let me know, drop them in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear them. You know, I'd love to know what things you're thinking of. Um, I just think it'd be very interesting. Um, interest rates are still hovering, you know, at all time lows. So if you are ready to start, um, start looking, um, let me know and we can start talking about it. 
And again, if you are interested in that 12 month homeowner checklist, let me know. I'd be happy to send it to you. Just a free guide I did. I did it for my 2020 home buyers because I had a lot of people asking about home maintenance. Um, and so I will send it your way. I don't know if Angela is telling me to call her or she's telling you to call her, um, but she said call me. So thanks for tuning in this week and I will see you guys next Thursday. Have a lovely um, weekend and um, yeah, see you next Thursday. Bye guys.